Namaste to you all. I'm Smita here from India. Today we are learning a very interesting session of chakra meditation. So to start with, let us sit in Sukhasana or any comfortable sitting position. And uh, let us chant Omkara Mantra for three times with a small prayer and start our ses uh, session today. Okay. Just feel comfortable, sit in any comfortable sitting position, either Ardha Padmasana or Sukhasana. Make sure your spine is erect and the neck is straight. Close your eyes gently. Just observe your breath for two to three breathing. Deeply inhale and exhale deeply. Just slow down your breathing. You can feel that you're slowing down your heartbeat too. Relax mentally and just be prepared for this session of Anna. And move your lips and chant Omkara Mantra while exhalation. Inhale deeply and while exhaling, chant Omkara Mantra. Inhale. Inhale deeply. Oh. One more time. Inhale deeply. Now adopt Namaskara Mudra in front of your heart and just follow what the prayer I am saying. Om Sahana Bhavatu Sahana Ubhunatu Sahabhiyam Karavavai Tejasvi Navati Damastu Mavidrishavai Om Shanti 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 now gently wrap your palm. Make a cup shape and keep it on your eyes. Make sure not to press your eyelids. Just feel the warmth. Gently open your eyes, seeing your palm first. Okay, I welcome you all for uh, the chakras and nadis and the chakra meditation which we are doing with today. And uh, I would like to inform you a brief introduction about what are chakras and nadis before we go on to. So I'm just sharing a screen wherein uh, I think you have to allow me, Gauriji. You're allowed now. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So first of all, we need to understand what are chakras and nadis to further proceed for this 
meditation. We all keep hearing this chakras, what is this chakra, the root chakra and all those things. But basically they are connected to our body. Let us understand how it is. When we understand nadis, nadis are, you know, it's like a network of nerves in our body. Okay, it's the channels where they carry on the prana, which is called the life force throughout the body. And we should understand that there are 72,000 nadis in our human body. So in physical platform, when we understand very simple way, is nadis are the nervous system, the nervous system which is running throughout our body. And these three uh, nadis which are very main are like, you know, the transformers, the switchboards, uh, wherein they carry the whole nervous system into three basic, three uh, important nadis, that is Ida, Pingala and Sushumna. So Ida is on our left nostrils. It starts from the root chakra till the left nostrils. And on the right is Pingala. It is from the left side of the uh, root chakra to the right side of the nostrils, wherein you can imagine that it is intersecting each other and uh, moving it in a snake shape. And Tushumna is in the right center which is on the central nervous system. So if a person needs to be healthy, we have to understand that all the nadis in that person should be free and uh, not disturbed in prana flow. That means he's healthy. So when we understand chakra, chakras are nothing but the psychic centers, energy channels, wherein, you know, uh, the intersection of the Nadis, that is Ida, Pingala, and Sushuna, forms the chakras, the energy centers, psychic energy centers. So, here there are seven main chakras to understand uh, in a very basic form that is the root chakra or the Muladhara chakra, then the sacred chakra, which is the Swadishana chakra, and Manipura chakra, which is the solar plexus. Then comes the heart, Anahata Chakra, and the Vishuddhi Chakra, which is in the throat, and the Arjuna Chakra, which is in the uh, middle of the eyebrows, and Sahasrara, which is above the head. That is the crown chakra, which we can understand with both English and Sanskrit version. And this is just to represent the chakras and its location in our body and the colors. Basically, the colors are also very important when we understand with the chakras because what the colors we are absorbing in this meditation, that is the chakra meditation, this heals us that particular chakra wherein we find there is some disturbances. So what are all these chakras stand for? When we consider the Muladhara chakra, which is showing the red color, this shows us about the health, security, and the basic requirements for our existence. Then when we come to the Swadishtana Chakra, it is about the physical love, passion, and the sexuality. When we come to the Manipura Chakra, there the Manipura Chakra tells us about the ego, concentration, self-control, and Anahata Chakra, it tells about the divine love. It is not the physical love, it's about the divine love, compassion, honesty, truthfulness. When we come to the Vishuddhi Chakra, it's completely about the communication, the speech, and uh, the way we speak, the volume, the melody, all comes from Vishuddhi Chakra. Then comes the Arjuna Chakra, it's for the complete realization of the soul and we understand um, the more concentration and we focus on our body and um, the wisdom. Everything is found in the Arjuna Chakra. 
then comes the sahasrara it's completely about the spirituality it's being one oneness with the universal consciousness so this is a basic uh, information about chakras because when we are doing a chakra meditation it's really important for us to know what is basic information about the chakras okay i'll stop sharing so just start with the chakra meditation i would really want you all just to do some warm up exercises it's okay if you are sitting also we can perform the warm up exercises let us start with a basic warm up exercises it's necessary so let us start with our shoulder rotation just put your hands on the shoulder joints and make sure your elbows touch each other and just rotate your elbows with a normal inhalation and exhalation for five counts and repeat this five with anti clockwise direction Now let's do the neck rotation. Let us start with downwards with inhalation. Slowly move your neck round and come back to the same position. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Now let us do the anti-clockwise. Be very slow and very gently. Inhale. And inhale. Let us do a twisting exercise also. Yeah. Just make sure your right hand is on the left uh, knee, and your left hand is behind. And try to twist with exhalation. Now inhale, come back. Let us repeat the same with the left side. Sorry, the right side. your left hand is on the right knee and your right hand is behind knee come back and exhale on the left side inhale and come back exhale on the left side inhale and come back exhale on the left side inhale and come back exhale on the right side okay relax just rotate your wrist and anti clockwise clockwise and anti clockwise yeah this i just to warm up for the meditation to loosen your joints this meditation can be done standing or sitting on a chair whichever is comfortable to you so let us just rotate our ankles because we need to sit or stand for some time it's clockwise five rounds and anti clockwise five rounds 
clockwise five rounds and anti clockwise five rounds on the other leg. Let us do half chair pose. Inhale, exhale, just sit half. Inhale and relax. Let's try doing this three, four times. It will release all your joints and makes you more flexible to sit or stand for a long time. Inhale, exhale, inhale and back. Inhale, exhale, inhale and back. Okay. So I hope you're all ready for the meditation. So we need to gently close our eyes now. Just hear to what I'm saying. And I would like you to visualize what the instructions is being given. Gently close your eyes. If you're sitting on a chair, gently close your eyes and if you're standing, Make sure that you are balanced. Make sure that your body center is completely balanced. Because unless and until we are not centered, we will not be able to concentrate on the, uh, you know, the meditation. So make sure that you're sitting straight with your spine in it and your neck is perfectly straight along with the spine. Your legs are on the floor, grounded. Gently close your eyes. Now start feeling the grounding. The grounding is like your legs on the ground is so strongly grounded it's like the roots have grown till the mother earth it's like it's holding the mother earth deep rooted and very strongly grounded feel your grounded to mother earth with the roots grown all around your legs. And find the centering of your body if you're standing or if you're sitting. Everybody's centering is totally different. Just try to move front, back, left and right and find which is comfortable position where you feel yourself balanced, centered. That will be the centering for yours. Inhale and exhale relaxedly. Make sure your abdomen bulges out when you are inhaling and it compresses when you are exhaling. Take a deep inhalation and deep exhalation. Feel the grounding and centering. Focus on relaxing the complete body from tip of the toe till the head region. Inhale and exhale slowly. Now we will start drawing the colors from the atmosphere, one after the other. 
down to the body and the excess, whatever the color we are drawing from the cosmos, we are just releasing it to the Mother Earth through grounding. Make sure that your legs are firm on the ground. Imagine a very bright light in the sphere above your head. And try to draw down a red color light inside your body, through the spine, filling the Muladhara Chakra, which is which is situated at the end of the spine, sacral, sacral part of the body. Try to fill in the Muladhara Chakra with the red color light drawn from this view. Always choose the bright color of the light. This gives more positive inputs to our body. It gives us a lot of positive energy. If you feel you have drawn excess, just let it go through the grounding to Mother Earth. Try to chant Lam in your mind while you're drawing the color of red. Lam. Let's go for the Swabhishana Chakra. The bright orange color from the spear. Draw the orange color light directly through the spine to the Swabhishana Chakra. Which is just above the root chakra. This increases the creativity in human. Draw the light. And once you feel excess, just let it go through grounding to Mother Earth. Chant Vam for Swadishthana Chakra, that is the sacred. Vam. Just, just visualize your body has drawn red color and orange color chakra and filled in the insecurities or any emotional stress. Now slowly let us move to the third color, 
that is the yellow color, bright yellow color. Please draw the bright yellow color from the skewer above the head. And fill in the Manipura Chakra, which is the solar plexus. Imagine the bright yellow color light entering your body and filling up the solar plexus area, the navel area. Very good, important part for our digestion to happen. And slowly chant the mantra Ram. Ram. Whatever the excess yellow color you have drawn, let it go through the grounding, through your legs to Mother Earth. Visualize yourself with the three colors filling up the root chakra sacral chakra and the solar plexus. Now let us draw the green color from the sphere to the anahata chakra, which is the heart center, which is really important for everyone to increase the compassion and the divine love. Draw the green, bright green color and fill in Anahata Chakra, the heart center. And chant Yam. Inhale and chant Yam. While exhaling, yum. Whatever the excess color we have drawn from the sphere, just let it go through the grounding to the Mother Earth. Feel the resonance of each mantra, the root mantra, the beta mantra, Feeling grounded to Mother Earth and letting go all the excess, filling up the insecurities within us. Now let us draw blue color, sky blue color, bright blue color to the Vishuddhi Chakra, which enhances our speech and communication. The Bija Mantra here is Hum. Just chant Hum while exhalation. Hum. Feel the vibration in your throat. Draw the light 
blue color and the sphere and fill up the Vishuddhi chakra. Anything in excess, rerouted to the ground, to grounding to Mother Earth. Now let us concentrate on the eyebrow center and draw the indigo color from the sphere to fill up the eyebrow center, the brow chakra, the ajna chakra, the most powerful chakra. This is the place where the Ida, Pingala and Sushumna unite during the liberation. This is also called as the third eye. Gently fill in the indigo color. Bright indigo color by chanting Omkara Mantra. Anything in excess, just reroute the same through the grounding to Mother Earth. Inhale and exhale, feel the bliss of recorrecting our own chakra system. Filling up with wonderful bright colors, visualize yourself. Now, the time to increase the spirituality and the path of spirituality, being oneness with the cosmos. Let us fill up the Sahasrara Chakra with a very vibrant violet color. Visualize yourself And feel the blissful state of yourself. Feel yourself so grounded on the Mother Earth. With whatever the excess you are having, move it to the Mother Earth through grounding, through the roots. By drawing the crown chakra, we are just making sure that all the chakras are functioning perfectly fine now. Now with a slow count of from 10 to 1, Open your eyes. Ten. Nine. 
nine, eight, seven, six, five, Slowly release the grounding. Three, two, and one. Gently rub your palms. Keep it on your eyelids. Just blinking your eyes and seeing the palm at first. Slowly open your eyes. Just relax yourself for a few seconds. So how did you feel this meditation was today? How did you find yourself? Which was the color which you wanted to feel more? And where did you find that I took more and I tried to correct myself? The colors, whatever was there from this view. Do comment. Yes, sir. Meditation was very peaceful, very relaxing, yeah. very relaxing. Nice. Mm. So it, which was the color you were drawing more? Uh, when it comes to color, I never visualize color. I was not seeing color, but I will try to focus more on color. But without trying to visualize, I always see a blue light flash many times. Very yeah. tiny dot very tiny blue dot it, it it comes it comes to my eyes very often uh these days not so much because i'm not meditating um mm -hmm. because of my back issue but when i used to meditate very often the blue light would flash uh even with open eyes or closed eyes um just a dot but by doing this many of our uh, inner uh, hidden thoughts are released because the blockages are from the nadis, like how we understood now. The nadis are the blockages which causes for our diseases, okay? By just imagining the lights, say for example, lower back pain or any problem with the heart, then we need to give more light to the heart, the green color. So that increases the compassion because the blockages there in the heart is because of low compassion. So by increasing the compassion, we can really help the chakras to function properly. Maybe for the back pain, yeah, the muladhara, the swadhisthana chakra, by giving more color to that particular area, the blockages can be removed. Because our emotions and the hidden thoughts are the blockages. So releasing that slowly, it will really help us to be healthy. Yes, yes. So it was sure. really wonderful uh, explaining it to everyone here and I really enjoyed it. It was very blissful because feeling grounded to Mother Earth was really very nice, feeling ourselves so strong, connected to Mother Earth and uh, letting go the things which is there with us, we feel more relaxed. We can do this every day or weekly once so that whatever the emotions, the hidden emotions are with no, you know, with our own consciousness, we are just drawing it down through grounding to Mother Earth, which heals us. 
because uh, the mother earth is so strong it heals everybody who is there on you know on her so it's really good to you know uh, pass on our uh, emotions to the great mother earth yeah it can heal us from inside true yeah it was true. a really great session thank you so much for being thank a part of the session and we look forward for much more great sessions in our future classes yeah thank you so much have a great weekend namaste namaste, namaste.